guys. Okay, so this video is going to be um, the second video in my prom makeup um, tutorial series. Um, this one's going to be pumped up pinup, um, and it's basically just a really glamorous, vintagey, um, really fun look. Um, and the great thing about this look is you can really wear it with any dress. Um, you can wear the eyes with any dress. Um, the lip color is really going to depend on the color of the dress. Um, for this look, I'm going to be doing a dark red lip, um, which would be best with a red dress, black dress white, um, maybe like a zebra print, um, and this looks really going to be best with a vintage style dress. Um, if your dress is blue or green or um, pink or purple, you're going to want to do um, a brighter pink look or um, a neutral look, depending on the color. Um, so to start this look, I um, it's really important to have, um, you want that porcelain perfect skin. Um, so I've already done my organic aloe concealer and my under eye treatment, um, organic triple eye treatment um, for underneath my eyes. And then I've topped it off with my organic mineral foundation in Cameo. Um, and so to start off the eye look, I'm going to take my oval eyeshadow brush and I'm dipping it into mineral eyeshadow in Halo, um, which I've tapped a couple pumps into the cap. And then I'm going to do a pump of my organic color lock. And you want this mixture to be the consistency of toothpaste. Um, you don't want it to be too liquidy because it will take too long to dry and you won't get um, the opaqueness. It'll just be really, really sheer. Um, and you don't want it to be too thick because it will clump. Um, so you want to just mix it around in the cap until it's clump free. And then I'm going to apply this all over my eyelid. And I'm just going to start in the corner, going all the way up to my brow. I'm also going to do it right underneath the eye just to give it a little shimmer. And in the inner corner to brighten it up. And then for my crease, I'm going to take Mineral Eyeshadow in Breathless, which is just a pearly gray color. Um, it does have some shimmer to it. And I'm going to take that on my sponge applicator. Um, and the reason I like this one is because it gives me a little bit more precision than the crease brush. Um, because the trick to this look, um, we wanted to get it really sleepy-eyed, bedroom eyes. Um, so we're going to extend our crease so it's a little higher in the inner corner than our natural crease. You can see I've done it on this side. It's exactly the same shape that I'm going to do on my other eye. So I'm just going to tap some of this eyeshadow into the cap. Dip in my eyeshadow applicator. And I'm going to start in the outside corner of my eye. And when I hit about the middle of my eye with this eyeshadow, that's when I'm going to start extending it. And I want the top of my crease to hit right below where my brow ends. Okay, so after we have the right crease shape, um, we're also going to take the Breathless, the dark gray eyeshadow, and do it right and on our lower lash line. And this is just going to open up the eye and make it a little more dramatic as well. Okay, so after we've done that, I'm going to take my eyeliner brush, my angled eyeliner brush, and um, I'm going to do my black wing. Um, and I'm using powder eyeliner in Raven with a pump of the organic color lock. Um, and again, you want it to be the texture of toothpaste or of any other liquid eyeliner. Um, so I'm taking this right on my brush. And the shape we want on the liner is um, we want it to dip down really low so that before we start the wing so that we do get that bedroom, um, like sleepy, doe-eyed look. Um, so we're keeping it really close to the lash line and going all the way across our lid. Starting it right at that inner corner and going all the way across. So after we've applied the liner on our lid, um, we're going to start our wing, and like I said, we've dipped down really far, as far as we really can, and then we're just going to start that wing. 
So the trick to applying mascara for this look is um, we're going to take our mascara. I'm using Afterglow Pure Soul Mascara in Onyx. And um, before we run it through like we normally would, um, I've curled my lashes. And I'm also going to start by pulling it through the top of my lashes. And what this is going to do is weigh the lashes down a little bit and really make them um, sleepy-eyed. And um, after I've done that, I'm just going to run it through like I normally would. And I'm also going to take the tip of my mascara wand and run it through my outside lashes just to mimic that wing shape that we did with the liner. Okay, so next we're going to apply our blush, and the color I'm using is After Afterglow Organic Mineral um, Blush in Smitten, and I'm just going to use it on my blush brush, and this is really easy to do. We're just going to apply it to the apples of our cheek. I'm going to line my lips so that I can get the right shape. Um, the, what I'm using to line them is Afterglow Lip Liner in Poppy, which is just a bright red color. And I'm going to just line my bottom lip. And then to get the shape on the top lip, um, you have on the bow of your lip, you don't want it to be so sharp, so we're just going to fill in a little bit on the skin above it to make it look more rounded. Okay, so after I have the basic shape of my lip, I'm going to take a deep purple lipstick um, just to deepen it up and darken it up and make it um, a lot more dramatic. Um, so I'm just applying this all over that lip liner. Okay, so this is the finished look. Um, it's really fun. Um, you could do it for a costume if you want to, but it's a really great look for a prom, for a dance, for um, really any outing you have to go to. So um, I hope everyone has a great time at prom, and I hope you like it.